Okay, Far Cry 5, and this is episode 5 of my Far Cry walkthrough, and we are here picking up exactly where we left off at the end of the last episode, and we are at the Cophead Rail Yard, and what we're doing here is we want to get some more resistance points in um, John's area here, and we also, at the Cophead Rail Yard, want to get the M60 light machine gun so we can start working on the perks for that or the challenge for that. You'll have to bear with me, I'll have to mute the mic a few times through this to actually, I've got a bit of a dodgy throat at the moment. So um, let's look at our challenges actually quickly, see what we've got to do. It's been a few days since I've played so we need seven shotgun kills and one SMG kill. Let's have a look where Peaches stands. Peaches needs seven more, three more kills. Perfect. All right, let's do this thing. We want to do this stealthy, and um, we want to get the undetected so we get the extra thousand thing. Let's read this notice. What is it? Oh, okay. Never seen that there before. All right, we are going to um, swap out Peaches for Boomer. All right, Boomer, you're on board. And what we're going to do is use, B use Boomer to tag up all the enemies in here. So we will send Boomer down into there. Let him tag up enemies for me. Alright, Boomer's done his bit there, let's move up here and let's put Boomer up there somewhere, run past a few more enemies and tag them up. He's tagged a couple more, I think he's nearly tagged everyone that's in there. Alright, so all these enemies are facing, sort of looking that way, back down the rail line, so we are going to start up the back here I guess. Watch that guy up the top. So the M60 LMG is here. Arguably one of the best guns in the game. I actually quite like it. You can go all the way through the game almost just using that, I think. So Boomer back to us. And we will take this guy out. A quick cover takedown. Before this guy over there has a chance to see us. He wouldn't have seen us anyway. Let's move the body just in case. I move the body in case a bear or something comes into the area and all these guys start running around and I don't want them to see the body. I'm not sure if with an external, something external interrupting him, whether they would actually get aggro and look for me if they saw a dead body or they just think the animal had killed it. I'm not sure, but I do it anyway. Um... I think we can get this guy. No one seems to be looking his way. My, I'm going to go to fists. It's a cleaner takedown. Body doesn't move as far. Just drops straight down. I think anyway. That's my theory that I'm working on. Especially up on roofs. A couple of times I've gone on a roof and hit the guy with a baseball bat or something and it actually pushes the body off the edge of the roof or something like that. So I don't like this sniper up the top. I think I'll go up and take him out. A ladder over here. Will bring me up pretty much behind him I think. Alright, let's take this guy out. Take the body with us. Don't fall through the roof. We'll dump his body here out of sight somewhere.
and continue on our way. Um, let's see if we can't get this guy to come to us. Let's put a rock up here. Does that attract his attention? It's the guy right here I'm talking about. It does actually. Let's just watch him for a second. See where he goes. He's heading towards us. Let's see if we can bring him a bit closer. Alright, we really need a takedown on this guy now. And I'm worried about this guy up here seeing me. That should bring him pretty close to me, actually. He should be far enough away from the others that if I have to shoot him with a silent weapon, I can. Alright, alright, alright. Turn around. Take him out. We've been spotted. We are out of here. We are just going to run away. And bring Boomer with us. Which, I don't think I've ever messed up this, this particular place. I've always just cruised through this place. But, um... We'll just exercise some patience and let these guys um, have a bit of a look around and let them reset. Good boy, Boomer. I just messed up, Boomer. I just got that horribly wrong. So I think they've done. They're done looking, I hope. We just can't be spotted by the road, from the road behind us. And these guys look like they are actually going to go about their business. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Not exactly going to go about their business. They are still looking. This is good. I don't think I've ever done that before. Actually disturb them and see what happens after I disturb them. Now they're totally in a different, different spot than I would expect them to be in. They're still sort of looking this way, expecting me. So I'm exercising a huge amount of patience here because I really want the undetected for the money. Right, we have to do something. I can't wait forever. We're recording. Right, let's go out the back gate and run around. We'll have to um, do this slightly different than I normally would. So you have to be careful with a silenced weapon. You are not totally silenced. Boomer, go there. You come here. There it goes again, all right. Put him there. Something's out there, all right. It's me. Oh, I don't go back that way. He's going to come around the long way, is he? Well, this has turned to shit. A squirrel, eh? He's done. 
which has disturbed them again. So silenced weapons aren't the be all and end all in this game. They are they are actually and can be heard. Let's just take this base out. One to go. Well, we got our one detected, but not the way I wanted. And I didn't get to loot the bodies, which is a shame. And we didn't get to get an SMG kill or a boomer kill. So on the Xbox, you can actually speed through this little cutscene by pressing and holding B to skip it. So we'll skip it. Because it took so long doing that. Um, Alright, let's pick up the loot here. And... Read this, it'll put a shrine up on my map somewhere. A silo. Loot's full, let's see what we can make. Nothing. We are full. I'm gonna hire this guy. Because... Um, yep, this guy, we wanna hire him. We'll select him. We'll assign him. And we will send him over there. Because what happens when I go up in here and I want to blow the safe up, you go away too. So up in here is our M60 and also a safe, so... Bless you. Great song. Let's just see what ammo there is. There's our M60. We will pick that up and swap it back out for our silent scoped AR and let's blow this safe up so what happens sometimes when you blow this safe up is that this guy is standing right there and when you blow the safe it actually blows him up as well and the others get cranky with you and want to kill you. So, now that we've done the safe, I will get Boomer back on board. See if there's any loot in here. And let's go shopping. The long wait while uh, the plain old Xbox decides to catch up. Come on, get your act together. All I want to do is sell some stuff and buy a weapon. Which is very disappointing, we didn't actually get an SMG kill, so we'll sell the loot. We got tons of cash. And we're just going to leave everything as it is because I need a couple of... Oh, there's a truck up the top there. Let's go and see if we can get an SMG kill here. Quickly. Because if we can get one SMG kill, I can then change my weapons around a bit. No good. Come on, this road has to provide one enemy, surely. Come on, you're messing with me. Nothing. Alright, we are done here. No, we're done here. Let's go back to the shop. I'm going to top my ammo up quickly. It'll load straight in. Ammo, let's just buy top up our ammo. 
Now, over the back here there is usually a bike, which we will grab. And let's go. So we are going to go and hit a couple of prepper stashes and some perk mags and things like that now. And I am just going to follow the rail line. So where we're heading to is right here. I think it's called Holland Holland Railway Station or something like that. Holland Valley Station it's called. Just looked at my notes. So let's head for that. And what I normally like to do here is I like to run along these tracks because there's heaps and heaps of um, flowers to pick. But we won't bother. We're a bit slow here. So we will just head along here. This road can get very busy right next to me on the right. Actually, this guy here. Let's exit the vehicle. He's got a prepper stash thing. Oh no, this guy is dangerous. We need our SMG kill. That's our SMG kill done. Come here and talk to me. Tell me about the prepper stash. Yes. All right, let's loot this guy. And talk to this guy about the prepper stash. Oh, dude, come on. Stop. There's nothing here. You're an idiot. Alright. He's probably going to tell us about the Vespery. Or the silos or something like that. So, we're going to leave him to it. Are you finished? No, you're still going. Let's get down here and park up our bike. We need, I think, one dynamite kill. Get off him, dog. Alright, I had to blow Boomer up then. I'll go and bring him back to life. I wanted a dynamite kill, but I had the wrong thing equipped. There's another guy up here. The dog killed him. Alright, enough messing around. Let's go. I'm pretty sure I need one dynamite kill. It's always very busy around here, so let's loot this place and get out of here. Let's make a couple of remote explosives. And let's make sure we've got dynamite equipped. I'm positive I need dynamite kills. Challenges. Just finished the SMG kills. Dynamite kills, I need one. Just checking around. There's usually always something going on here. And I can get rid of this stupid SMG. Alright, let's get in here. We have a perk magazine to pick up, which is why we're here. And it's, it's right in here. That's at the other end. Uh, 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 perk magazine. Well, there it is. And we will pick up the nitro and all of that stuff here. We are done. We need to make a bit of time. A bit slow compared to where I wanted to be in this episode so far. Messing up the uh, stealth of the... Just marks the Colt silo on our, uh, our map. Alright, we've got our um, perk magazine. Now we are going to head off for uh, another perk magazine. Uh, no, we're not. We are going to head off for a prepper stash, which is right there.
All right, we'll just leave them guys be. And like I said, I normally like to run along here because there's so much stuff to be picked up. So much uh, vegetation, flowers. So that's the house on the left. I think it's the haunted house we're heading for. There's usually guys right here on my right, and there is. We will just leave them be and head straight over here. Get off our bike and see what these guys are up to. Might go for a dynamite kill here because Boomer is going to run past them and he is going to tag them up for me. He's not, so we will send him over there to tag them up. There we go. Three enemies. And they are pretty grouped together. Dynamite. We need one kill. I think I've got them all. Got our dynamite kills done. My sin has already been exposed. Quick bit of looting. Where's the body? No, don't take that. Loot the body. I don't want that hideous thing. Why would I just lose my shovel, probably? There it is. Alright, let's go. Back to this um, prepper stash. Good boy, Boomer. I need to get rid of Boomer. I've got to get some more kills with Peaches. But Boomer is so helpful. Alright, let's grab the mustard. And we need shotgun kills. I think the note's on the door here. If you want to read it, quick read of it. O'Hara's haunted house. We need to get up in there. And you just go around the back here. And jump up. Down onto this platform. Loot the toolbox. And there is... A baseball bat? Am I full on baseball bats? Must be. Yep. And we need to throw this switch. I think there's a comic here, isn't there? Yep, comic, which we're not too worried about. And that is us done. Zip line out of here. And into the haunted house, and that's us done. Sorry. Pause to mute and uh, clear my throat. Oh my god. <laughs> it's quite cool, it's very well done. Oh god, that's about. That reminds me of one of my exes. Yeah, and there's another one of my exes. Alright, let's get through here. And get this prepper stash and get out of here. G'day, dude. Alright, prepper stash is up here. And that's as, it, that's as hard as it gets for this one. Uh, let's listen to the... Insane laughing. Alright, let's... Uh, Grab our perk mags and the bliss oil, bliss oil, all the cash, and continue on our way. That is it. What's the note say? Clown thoughts. Okay, we are done here. Let's get out of here. What's Boomer up to? Okay. Alright. Let's take advantage of this situation. 
Let's get Peaches here. Peaches needs kills. Peaches, go and take that dude out. Job done. Good girl, Peaches. Alright, let's head off. Hopefully our bike is still over here. And we have another enemy. For Peaches. Let's, uh... Get a shotgun out. We need a couple of shotgun kills. What is this guy doing? Let's put Peaches over there. Actually, this guy's got his back to us, has he? Let's get Peaches to take him out. Yeah, Peaches. Rescue. Where's our bike? It's here. Let's go. Alright. Where we are off to. It's actually good hunting here as well. Usually along these tracks. We are off to uh, cross the river. Just follow the rail tracks. And our first stop is going to be here. It's a graveyard. And it's a perk magazine. Look at all the animals here. We're not stopping for anything. We need to catch up a bit of time. There's a perk magazine in a graveyard here we want to get to. On the left is... I think it's the mine. It's quite a dangerous little spot actually. So we're not going to mess with that at this stage. We will pull up about here. Let's check out where we stand with that stuff. Uh, we'll make a couple of them. And the graveyard is just over here. Look left and look right before you cross the road. What's the sign say? Is it a hunting sign? We'll have a quick look and get it marked. If it is. No. Alright, in this graveyard here. Is a grave. Peaches, stand there. I don't want to blow you up. In here, you can stomp through this. But what I normally like to do is I normally like to throw a grenade on it. Because it will hopefully blow all the bits of timber out of the way. Because what happens is the timber falls in and is on top of your magazine and stuff that you want to pick up. Something spotted me. Where the hell are you? Have a grenade. Did it kill him? It did kill him. Let's loot him. He was a random. Alright, Peaches, let's go. So that's a perk magazine done there. Um, 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 I think there's a only a toolbox in here to loot. Oh, there's this phone, this message. This is sick. Come on, play it.
and it is only others who can take it away. Oh my god, really? All right, back to the bike. Come on, Peaches. Where is my bike? My trike? Oh, I don't know why I want to always keep calling them trike. There's actually an animal in front of me. We will take a skin. I think it's a pronghorn. Pronghorn. Right, back on the bike. The quad. I don't know why I always want to call them trikes. Quad. In the tunnel here, we stop halfway along and there is another perk magazine. Right here. Uh, perk magazine. Loot. And I have started another episode without checking my perks and how many I can spend. Right, map. Where we are going is just through the tunnel. We'll stop on top of this bridge and we want to go to there, which is another perk magazine. Tell me about it. Not quick enough. Oh, enemies. Grenade. Let's go for a nade kill. No good. Let's just go for rifle kills then. Peaches. Go kill him. We got weapons. Enemies somewhere. Peaches, kill him. Good girl. And that's Peaches kills finished. More perk points awarded. Alright, let's get rid of Peaches. She's done. Let's start working on boomer kills. Anyone in that boat? No, obviously not. There's always an aeroplane here when you first get here. Then it'll despawn after you mess around here for a little bit. Okay. Oh, a bear. Sorry, bear. the sign say loot him 50 cal reload this shotgun and we are off over to there to quickly grab a perk magazine let's not die let's miss the plane I've jumped down here and landed on the plane before if you want the plane jump in it and sort of move it around a bit, otherwise it will despawn. It does nearly every time I've come here. We must be getting close to shotgun kills. Or have we got shotgun kills already? I'm not sure. Bye bye. Let's grab this mustard. Okay. Let's look at where we stand. Quickly challenges. Shotgun kills seven. Ah, don't worry about it. Let's get this perk magazine and keep going. What is going on here? What's she have? Am I real? 
All right, Bliss Oil, that was a bonus. In here is a Perk magazine. It's in here. Now that's the fishing magazine. There's a Perk magazine here somewhere. There it is. This guy is still up here. He really wants me to just kill him. We got a couple of enemies here. We're just going to go for it with a shotgun. That civilian. I didn't kill that dude. Burma can look after that. Scared to talk to him. Because I'm at the point where if I talk to the wrong one, I will be abducted by Faith, and I don't want to be abducted by Faith. Sorry, my voice just dropped out again. And I don't want to be abducted by Faith at this point in time. What the hell? All right, come on, dude. Come over here for a shotgun kill. Come on. You want to come and play? You got nothing, bro. Shotgun kill. I nearly messed up big time then. Enter this vehicle. Um, actually, let's go in here and have a look. I have never been in here before. Oh, look, there's the cross on the wall that tells you there's something here. What? Oh, and a skunk. Alright, we will take a skunk pelt. A sniper rifle standard rubbish one. Alright, done. So there's not much in here. I wonder if we've completed skunk kills on this character. You can actually run enemies over with a boat and they count... They actually count for the... Um, what am I trying to say? I'll quickly look at my challenges and I'll show you what I mean. So if you're getting around in a boat, you can actually get... I think it's called hit and run. Hit and run. Hit and run. It counts if you run someone over in a boat. So if you're in a big boat and you see those two guys on the jet ski, you run them over with the big boat because it'll count for hit and run. Um, let's look at our hunting and see if we have skinned enough skunks yet. Only one. That was good. I'm glad I went in there. All right, we are going up the top of this hill for another perk magazine and probably to end this episode, I'd say. Um, map. Up the top of this hill is... The Jones Residence. So, don't think I give you the name for this place. It's called the Nelson Residence. That's where we got the Perk magazine. And we didn't give you the name of this place, which was the last best resting place. And we are going up the top of the hill here now to go to the um, Jones Residence to get a Perk magazine. I think the main storyline brings you up here to the Jones Residence from memory. Bye bye, Faith. Okay, um, follow this track up here and we should come to a grappling point which will take us to the top of the hill. Wolf. Where is the wolf? Where is Boomer? Let's grapple up the top here. I missed. 
I think I pushed the detach button on using that Xbox Elite controller and I got a habit of pressing the wrong button on the back of the controller every now and again. There's usually nothing up here. Sometimes there's hunting to be had here. Yeah. You mark them up, Boomer. Boomer's not good to hunt with. He scares stuff off. Oh my god, what's up here? Boomer, come down here. Oh, I've got no grenades. Alright. Let's have a go at this. Let's take a fast. And let's take an ultimate survivor. And let's just go for this. And that's our shotgun challenge done. Alright, this seems like as good a point as any. No, I will quickly do this. Actually, one second. I have got to go and cough. I'm just about to mute my mic and go. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to go and cough in a big way. Um, and we got more enemies here. Boomer, do your thing. Get him, Boomer. Alright, I'll do it. Okay. Right, we're back here. Let's do this thing. Let's loot this. Make some dynamite. And loot this. I think we need a key here, don't we? Yeah, there it is there. Key. Thank God that fast is worn off. Oh, Boomer's down. Quickly, let's get Boomer back before he disappears. Sorry, Boomer. Good boy. Alright, let's get this perk magazine and end this episode. Or should I just push on? Maybe I should just push on. Make this an extra long one and get to where I was hoping to get to in this episode. Alright, down we go. Alright, sorry about that. Hit the microphone again. Let's loot this place. Grab our perk magazine. Hunting magazine as well. There's a flamethrower. Which I don't know that I've got. I can't remember. I'm sure I picked up a flamethrower at some point, but anyway. Yeah, I probably did episode one. Alright, where's our perk magazine? There it is there. And we are done. What was that on the floor? Rubbish bin. And we have more enemies. Let's uh, see if we can stay out of their view. Let's get Boomer there. Boomer, you need to get behind this guy so you can get an easy kill. Boomer there. Boomer there. Come on. Boomer, take that guy out. Get this dog off of me! I'm allergic to dogs! 
What about lead? Oh. Go, Boomer. I'll help you out. I didn't reload my bloody gun again. I need to go and play COD for an hour or two and get used to reloading guns after kills. Okay, um... Let's have a quick look at the map and see if there's actually a trader around here. There is. General shop. We are going to him. You good, Boomer? Sorry, mate. Boomer is very effective when he's behind an enemy. If he's in front of an enemy, the enemy will club him down every now and again. Mustard. Full. What can we make that uses mustard? One of them. Take the mustard. Alright, let's go and see this dude and do some shopping. Our shotgun is finished. I thought that was a plant then. Free fishing rod. Alright. Let's look at our challenges. We have finished our shotgun and our SMG. So we can get rid of them here. So let's... Get rid of those peggies. You know, I can teach you a life lesson. And let's shop. Oh, come on, hurry up. You crazy ass game. Alright, let's sell loot. I don't know that I've picked up that much loot, but... Okay, back. Weapons. Alright, so we completed our shotgun and our SMG. So what I'm going to do is going to go to my pistol. And it's time to chase pistol kills. We'll put the pistol in replace of the SMG. I am going to put an optical sight on it. And no, I want the square one. It looks better. Square one and the extra magazine. And we are going to go to the end here. We picked up the M60 at the start of this episode, so we're going to get the M60. And I'm going to replace the shotgun with the M60. And I am going to put on the Enhanced Ranger Sight for a while. And a Suppressor. Yep, the round one. And Extended Mags. Did I put extended mags on the pistol? Yeah, I did. Alright. Let's have a look where we stand. Again, challenges. I know I look at them a lot. But challenges, we are at assault rifle. We still need quite a few, so I'll leave the assault rifle as is. And let's have a look at perks while we're here. So I've got 28 to spend. So I have got extra holster, ghost, journey pack, sneaky sprint, grapple, harvest master, and them. All right, I am going to go. We're going to go with pistols now for a bit. And so I am going to go with... Close Combat Mastery, which means I get uh, pretty much ba better handling on my pistols. So reload, reload arm, I mean reload and aim times and things like that. Well, scope in. Just made a complete hash of that. 
and we'll, we'll do the same for this because it lets you switch rifles and sniper rifles also your sway and board spread so hip fire and your sway as you aim down sight is reduced and we will do the same because now we're going to be using an LMG for a while so we will do the same with the LMG and we have nine left so I will maybe should really get parachute now but carry more handgun ammo and more melee weapons or you go with special ammo bag let's start with that one carry more handgun ammo and That will do us for now. We'll save those eight points because we are going to go for the um, heavy ammo bag and the um, rifle ammo bag next. And I reckon we sort of maybe end this episode here. Or I go for one more. How long have we been going? 51 minutes. Let's have a look at the map. And... Where I really hoped to get to and end this episode was... Mm, it's a fair way away. Mm. I think I'll end this episode here. Because where I want to get to is here. I will actually come back to this place. Let's fast travel to here. And I'll go to a different place instead. Come on, in your load. Night time. Bugger. And we want to get to the place I'm looking for is called the Fillimore Residence. And it is right about here somewhere. It's there. Let's go over there. It's not far away. Let's actually work on consuming some more homeopaths so we will not run with a LMG we will run with a pistol instead where's my body Oh, I thought I was about to run off a cliff then. Come on. I need to get this done. This is going to be a very long episode. It feels a little boring, this episode, actually. Oh, we're not going down there. There's a cult VIP. We're going to run up here and run over the bridge. really want the fast to wear off. Let's change out to our LMG. Alright Boomer, time to do your thing sport. You take him out Boomer, I'm going to take out this heavy. Too slow Boomer. Please don't go in the fire, Boomer. Now I've got to remember how the hell I get to this. The fast is starting to annoy me now that we've got here. Come on fast, we're off, so I can see properly.
I'm going to die. Um, I can't remember where the perk magazine is here. Yep, just die. Run in there and die. There's the perk magazine. Why am I messing around down in there? This is actually a Vietnam lighter stash, actually, and a perk magazine. Loot is full. What can I make? Nothing. I've got to start working on Molotov cocktail kills, which is probably one of the worst. Them and flamethrower kills are the two I really hated. All right, that's us done here. That freedom from sin can come from the power of just one word. All right. We will end this episode here. I'll loot this. No, don't throw away your shovel again. We will end this episode here. And we are going to pick up in exactly the same spot in the next episode. So uh, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Cheers.